What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. All right, you already know I have all the receipts and deleted tweets right here. My fake little Birkin bag, girl. That I got off the Facebook garage sale, the Facebook flea market. Okay, so guys, it, I thought the drama was over. I thought it was over. It's not because, well, let me show you up all the receipts. Let me see in here. James Charles be shady. Nah, not that one. Let me see here. Jacqueline Hill and her rant now. Ah, Jeffree Star drama. Here we go. All right, girls. Jeffree Star finally posted a video today. Much anticipated video, girl. Now, I had written down some notes. I have in this separate note bag. Here we go. Jeffree Star literally went and got a brand new puppy girl. In the video, I thought, we're thinking that Jeffree Star was finally going to address the drama and apologize to Trisha Paytas, to Nikki Tutorials, to James Charles, to Jay Dawson, to just make formal apologies. Maybe apology for me, he's the bottom cheapest thing I ever made as a girl, but not one apology was made in the whole entire video. It seemed like Jeffree Star was just moving on. That never happened. Vegas never happened. This all this drama that's been popping off online. Jeffree Star is just like, what? What are you talking about, girl? I'm not bothered. Like very much that, okay? So it's clear to me, I mean that to me that was just a message to everyone involved. Like, hey, you know what? I'm over it. That was last year. I'm not talking about it. I'm moving on. Which is kind of like, wow. You're not gonna talk about anything at all. Like nothing, like, I, I thought he would put it toward the end of the video, like, hey, you know, I saw Trisha Paytas was hurt online, but, you know, and I think that might even just hurt Trisha Paytas more, like, wow, like, here I am making video after video after video, Instagram rant, TikTok rant, and then she's just getting in ignored, you know? So Trisha Paytas said time and time again that she just wants to move on. She said that, but she posted a TikTok rant about a voice message that she heard Shane Dawson talking about about her, that YouTuber Charles Gross. Oh my gosh. For those of you who don't know, Charles Gross, literally, it's like, he like collects Hermes bags, he sells Hermes bags, all about high-end luxury and stuff like that. He's like, a, I would say like a luxury lifestyle vlogger or something like that. Oh, I do want to say this. Because we're going to talk about Trisha Paytas and what she has now said with receipts and all that stuff. But I do want to say this. I watched Psychic of the World channel and they made an interesting point about Trisha Paytas. I'm going to roll you the clip what they said. And I say this because it is getting kind of dark. It is getting kind of like the internet wants blood from Jeffrey and Shane. Like I get it. Like I get that. I get that they're wrong and what they did was like not right. Whatever. Like I totally get that and holding them accountable. But then I was getting to the point where it's just like too much. And it's kind of like you get like a weird feeling like, oh girl, I don't really feel too good. It's getting, it's getting too dark. It's getting too messy. So I want to roll you this clip and then we'll talk about the drama. So here we go. Roll. Time. I was like, I wish drama channels wouldn't push this. I wish people, people fucking DMing Trish, sending her all of this sh shit, knowing that she's in a, a vulnerable position. Everyone's DMing her, sending text messages, saying things, knowing that she's in a vulnerable position, knowing that she has BPD, knowing that she's struggling, saying she's having a panic attack. And instead of caring about her well being and wanting her to make sure she's calm and quiet and making sure she gets her feelings together, making sure she doesn't say something she'll regret, making sure she's healthy, making sure she takes time away from the internet, they're DMing her all this other stuff, making her feel more and more panic. Did get. Um, and okay from Charles Gross to share this. But again, I don't know if I want to share the actual audio, but there it is because like I heard it with my own ears. I'm just like freaking out. You guys look, April 2017 and he's gossiping about something I told him before a Christmas party in 2016. I don't even remember it. Like I do remember like talking to Peter Martin. This is so stupid. Like I just remember being like, yeah, like did you invite Charles? But he's like, the way he said it on the audio was just like, yeah, Trish is like, ew, why would you do that? And he's like, Trish, is this all you have better to do is gossip? Shane, you are the biggest gossip and you're the meanest gossip. Yeah. Maybe I was like, hey, yeah, Peter Mon said that you're inviting Charles Gross. I never said anything bad about him. He doesn't say that I said anything bad about him, but like, I'm not, I'm not mean. And I don't, look at you gossiping, like, to someone you don't even know. Like, I, I was his best, best friend. And I was just the stupid one. I was just the desperate one. I'm such an idiot. The audio is literally Shane in a mocking voice, being me, being like, you invited this guy? Like, as, what? What? I have never said one bad thing about Shane privately, publicly, anything. I'm just like, I was like kind of getting myself together and like just like move on today's a new day but it's just like I'm so I'm so shocked I'm like 
I'm, I've just never been so mind blown by someone so fake. Cause I, you will not find one voice memo of me bad talking Shane or saying something that Shane said to me in private or question. Like this is like Shane's a gossip. Yeah. But I didn't know he was so mean and like conniving behind people's back. Truly. I didn't know this. Like he'd end friendships and he would like kind of tell me, but like also always just like paint himself as like a good person. Like never was being like mean. This is just like nasty shit. Like mocking. Like I best friend we did we did the first series together i was going through so much that year 2017 i did the series after my breakup with sean and he knew like in that series i'm like going through it like this is months later like i was not mentally well this year like i checked in with shane about like this is i'm so mind blown like you don't understand how bad i just like want to move forward like i love making like tiktoks and fun tiktoks like these are just so stupid and like i hate that they're even on my feed i'm just like i can't even i can't even take it in like hearing like hearing his voice right like i've heard it from multiple people and like different people and like okay but like hearing him like mock me and say trish told me four months ago about something like just and and for what to make charles gross feel like worse about i didn't say anything bad and he, he and he repeated that i didn't say anything bad it wasn't that it was just like more that i was like asking him like why he invited like charles because like peter mon like didn't like him. It, this was like so long ago like everything's like squashed but it's just like what was the point to make charles feel bad to make me look bad to just shit on me for no reason to mock my voice like well i don't understand like it just it doesn't make any sense like just completely unwarranted like i know i do stuff that's like like rubs people the wrong way but i was so nice to shane i never said anything bad about him i was always there for him like i'm so <sighs> it's like the wind has been knocked out of me <sighs> but like these are voice memos he sent to people no one's like privately recording him or anything like that which i heard other people do but like these are voice memos he sent and honestly like if you share a voice memo with me about shane like and like i'm sure there's more like i'm not gonna share them obviously like i just it just like solidifies like i i think i already don't feel bad like i already feels like a weight has been lifted off me like i don't have any remorse about this friendship because like i did nothing to warrant this like this is the first time ever in my life in my career on youtube that i didn't warrant this kind of response rebuttal attack like it's not even a response it was just like this weird attack for no reason and it just like it just i don't know i guess just like hearing it is just like yeah this person is a bad bad person like this is the one person i thought never talked bad about me that never like gossiped of like this is cr this is insane yeah i'm like processing all this like it's just this week has been hard anyways because it's like it's just it literally feels like i just didn't know this person peter mon's video he said he called me a sociopath and i'm just like what so just to touch on that, like Peter Ma made a video talking about like when he met up with Shane in Vegas and this was like around like, I don't know, 2018. And um, I like, and I guess he said that like Trisha said she'd meet up with me or something in Vegas and to which Shane said to that, oh yeah, Trisha said she'd meet up with me in Vegas. That's what Peter told Shane. Shane's response to that was Trisha's a pathological liar. Like what, what is the point? It's not like I said, you know, Shane's this or made up rumors about someone. I said, oh, I would love to meet up with you to which Shane's response is Trisha's a pathological liar. Peter Mont also goes on to say that he says that Tana is a sociopath, Jake Paul's a sociopath, and then I'm a sociopath. Oh my God. Shane, you're not a psychologist. Not everyone's a sociopath. <laughs> Oh my God, you give this guy a series of fake therapists and an ego and all of a sudden he just knows everything about psychology and he can diagnose anyone as a sociopath. Like what? Make it make sense. And he said Andrew and Garrett and they were there like laughing in Ryland. Like why? Why did I warrant that? Why did I warrant my best friend called me a pathological liar and a sociopath? What? And again, to reiterate, this isn't Shane saying this in defense of himself. Well, Trish is a pathological liar. It's not like I made up a rumor about Shane and he's like, well, Trish is a pathological liar. Like he just said this because I said I wanted to meet up with Peter, which I did meet up with him and do a video in my apartment okay uh, so he just said i'm a sociopath for no reason like, he just met this guy peter mon for the first time and he knew me nine years at that point and just decided to randomly say trish is a sociopath i'm like this is like even him telling charles gross all this like what is the what is the point I mean, clearly he had some issue with me or some issues himself. If he's telling Gabby, Hannah, I have herpes, which I'm going to show next week on my podcast, like my results, like I don't, but it's like, wh why, why are you just making this stuff up? Why are you just saying this? What is the point though? Like, what is the point to humiliate me, to make me look stupid, to paint your own narrative of me, like to look, make me look like a clown for being friends with you. Okay. Whoa. I was, I think like people want to hear it, you know, I don't know if it's gonna come out, whatever, but I do want to say for my makeup today, like the um, mint green or that Tiffany blue, whatever you want to call it, I use the brand new, you're gonna be shit girl, the Animal Crossing palette, 
that's what I used for my eyeshadow today. Let me show you the colors. So there you go. I think it looks so, I think it's so cute, girl. I love it a lot. And I just want to show you those. And then it has like the little, it has a full size little mirror with the little like, the little possum or creature or whatever it is, girl. You know what I'm saying? But it's super cute. I mean, hello. So I used that today for my makeup look. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Anyways, oh yeah, I have the whole entire collection right here. All the Animal Crossing palettes. I have everything. So if you guys want to see that video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll post the Animal Crossing makeup review extravaganza eleganza. Okay, with that being said, I think Trisha Paytas, you know, so much has just came out, you know, so much has came out about Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star. People are torn. People really want them to make a video or addressing it or apologizing or something. Uh, so much says that people have now started to go over to Jeffree Star's video and leave comments. Now, this is the video where he was showing off the Gucci foundation. So comments like, if you're a fan of Jeffree, please get therapy. James is better than you. No wonder Nate left you. Like just like really negative comments. The comments are trickling over. And I think a lot of people more now are just like very upset with Jeffree Star. Like Jeffree Star managed to upset some people from his community or even people who are maybe outside of the community or people who are like on the fence or the gray area about him. He's basically upset them again and people were just like looking at him to make, like to address it, you know, even if it's to say, hey, you know what, I was just, you know, I was just like, I wasn't in the right headspace and I said what I said and, and I want to apologize, like, something like that. You know, it's like, so I guess people just want something. You know, and I said time and time again, just like make a sit real video and apologize to people you hurt. But no, you know, Gabriel Zamora tweeted out already. James Charles tweeted out already. And it's just kind of like, I guess this, I, I just feel like what's going to happen is Jeffree Star is just going to continue to just post videos like this never happened. This is a little micro drama, whatever. And then Shane Dawson is going to continue to post. And then in two weeks or a week, will people forget, you know, but I think that, you know, if you lose a if you lose a customer, you know how do you get them back? You know what I'm saying? And it's very interesting how how things are gonna how things are gonna turn out. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.